At Carl's Place, our built-in golf room kits help you create a golf simulator room complete with a wall-to-wall -wall screen. They are designed for DIYers with carpentry or handyman skills to provide an immersive experience that makes you feel like you are right there on the course. In this video, we will walk you through the setup process for our built-in golf screen kit as well as provide you with some tips and tricks to help along the way. You'll want to start by organizing your kit. Your kit will include four corner cable anchors with screws, four pulley wheels with safety wire linch pins, one top cable, two turnbuckles, four threaded nuts, impact screen with cable through bottom sleeve, zip ties, mountable zip ties, and a roll of hook fastener tape. You may choose to upgrade to starter panels with hook fasten strip. The starter panels are essential if you're adding wall or ceiling panels to your built-in golf room, but if you're just installing the screen, they are an upgrade. Make sure to have your tools handy. You'll need a laser level or plumb line, a measuring tape, a drill and impact driver, a 7 16th socket wrench, and two 8 foot tall step ladders. Next, it's time to measure and align your space. Start by measuring one foot away from each corner of the back wall and mark the placement of the four corner anchors. Use a laser level or plumb line to ensure your room is square and the anchors are set on an even plane. Next, install the corner anchors. Place the corner anchor against the floor with the tapered end pointing up against the wall. At the bottom angled hole, drill a pilot hole at a downward angle into the bottom plate of the wall. Then, use a 1 4th inch lag screw to secure it in place. Repeat this process with the other floor anchor, making sure the anchors are installed on an even plane. Then, continue with the two ceiling corner anchors, installing each into the top plate, with the tapered end pointed down. The cable anchors are designed to be secured with a single screw through the angled hole. The other two holes are optional and can provide additional security as needed. Now it's time to install the top cable. First, grab the loose cable, the one not in the screen, as well as a pulley wheel and a safety linch pin. Put the cable behind the pulley wheel and press it into one of the top corner anchors. Then, secure the pulley in place with the linch pin through the lower hole. Repeat the process on the other top anchor. The cable should now be spanning the ceiling with the left and right sides hanging down. Now it's time to hang your screen. Take your screen and orient it so that the Carl's Place logo faces the front and top of the screen. Avoid letting the screen touch the floor to keep it from getting dirty. Loosely zip tie the top two corners of the screen around the pulley wheel on the two ceiling corner cable anchors. Your screen will be hanging loosely with the bottom cable and the screen lying on the floor. Take one end of the screen cable and press it into the floor anchor with the pulley wheel, just like you did when installing the top cable. Insert the lich pin through the hole closest to the floor. Repeat on the other side. Thread a nut on the end of each cable, if not already threaded onto the cable ends. Four in total. Using the turnbuckles, connect the top and bottom cable ends together. You can start by threading one end just enough to keep the turnbuckle on and then adding the other cable in and tightening them both together. The turnbuckles are threaded so that turning it in one direction will thread it on to each cable end. Tighten the turnbuckle just until the cable system is taut. Be careful not to over tighten. Follow up by firmly tightening the nuts to secure the turnbuckle in place. This won't cause unwanted pull on the screen, but it will prevent the cable from loosening over time. It's best if you remember to check and make sure these nuts remain secure as you begin to use your golf screen. Next, install zip ties through the bottom corner grommets on the screen around the corner anchor pulley wheels. With the corner grommets secured, continue to attach all the remaining grommets on the screen with zip ties. 
Start by securing all the zip ties very loosely so that you will have an easier time adjusting for tension and spacing later. Now it's time to adjust your zip ties for screen tensioning. The first step is to make sure the bottom of the screen is level with the floor. Loosen or tighten the zip ties at the ceiling of the enclosure to adjust the screen so that the bottom sits flush to the floor. For larger screens, or to maintain a perfectly straight top edge, you can use the mountable zip ties to raise the cable at the top to the ceiling. Continue working your way around the enclosure, tightening and loosening the zip ties as needed to work out any sag or pooling visible in your screen. Note that a slight belly of sag in the middle of the screen is natural, but it shouldn't be blatantly visible. Finally, you can install your hook fastener tape which will hold the flaps of your screen. Note that if you purchase starter panels, you'll install those instead. For the hook fastener tape, use your laser level or plumb line and set a guide from floor to ceiling 5 inches away from the cable anchors. Remove the adhesive on the fastener tape and secure it to the wall every few inches to help keep it in place over time. If you did not purchase the optional foam inserts, continue the screen installation by attaching the screen flaps to the enclosure walls and ceiling with the hook and loop strips. If you purchase the optional foam inserts, you'll install those now. Install the foam with the narrow edge against the frame and wrap the flap around the foam to secure it with the hook and loop strips. Make sure no part of the foam sticks out and interferes with the hook and loop connection. Review your work and reattach the hook and loop to smooth out any lines in the flaps as necessary. Your setup is now complete and you can begin using your new built-in golf room. With the screen up, you can finish up those final touches to get your golf simulator up and running. If you need help with any other electronics or accessories you picked up from Carl's Place, we're here to help. Check out our library of resources to support your build. Carl's also offers additional kit options to build out your golf room. Carl's built-in panel kit is a great way to darken and soften your walls and ceiling. Our panels attach using French cleats and Z-clips to shield your walls and ceiling from stray shots. They are not only custom sized to fit your specific space, but are also heavy duty so that you can swing with confidence and not worry about putting a hole in your wall. Carl's Golf Room Curtains are another great option for temporarily covering doors or windows and is a great alternative to deep enclosure walls. Simply pull the curtain out when you want to play and drag it back when you need access. We want to see your new golf setup. Go to www.carlavt.com slash share with us to send us pics, videos, or reviews of your bragworthy setup. If you have any questions or feedback, feel free to shoot us an email, give us a call, or contact us on our website. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos on building, using, and enhancing your own golf simulator.